Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in Adobe Photoshop and I'm going to be showing you how to apply shadows to uh, certain objects. Uh, and in this case, it will be text within Photoshop to make it have a more realistic effect as if the sun is shining down on it or whatever it may be. Now the first thing you want to do is get an object that you want to apply the shadow to. So in my case, it is this word here, shadows. Uh, I have typed it out. I have uh, applied a font that I like and I have also applied a nice little shadow if you can see here below in the background to this text. Now there's a very easy and simple way of doing this and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So the first thing you want to do is open up a new project and go ahead and type in some text and in my case I'm going to type in the word shadows. Now it's obviously a little too big for the screen there so we're going to go ahead and move the text around just a little bit bit and I'm actually going to change the text color to black now you can do this with any color it really does not matter now the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up your layers panel and I'm gonna bring it up here so we can see it a little better uh, if your layers panel is not open go to window and then go down to layers and make sure the check mark is beside it once you have done that you then need to duplicate your text layer or your object layer whatever you're trying to apply a shadow to and you need to right click and duplicate that layer. Once you do that you need to name that layer. I'm gonna leave mine as shadows copy and then click on OK. Once you have done that, you need to click on that layer and hold down and drag that layer below your e original layer. Once you have done that, you need to right click on that copy layer and make sure it is rasterized if it is not already. So click on rasterize type. Once you have now done that, the next thing that you want to do is you want to transform this layer to be able to distort it. So make sure you have your copy layer selected and then you need to go to to uh, transform which is right here under edit and then go to transform and then go to distort click on distort once you have done that you now are able let me close out of this here let me get all these out of the way you are now able to click on any edge of that layer which is the copy layer and distort that layer move it around wrap it around whatever you want to do now you can add any type of shadow you know you can have the light coming in from the left corner the right corner but in my case here I'm gonna have a nice little shadow uh, below the layer as if the Sun is shining in front front or above the text there so it may take you some time in order to get the layer where you want it you know make sure the uh, it's not too big it's not uh, you know just kind of uh, you know getting in the way so I'm gonna go ahead and play with my layer here until I get it exactly like I want it so you don't want it laying down too much so what you can do is kind of have it angled up that in my opinion gives it the best effect so go ahead and, and mess with all of the different uh, corners there See how I can even give it an effect as if it's shifted over to the left just a little bit, but I don't want that effect too much. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this over just a little bit here to give it more of a... Uh, effect of a shadow. So once I have done that and I have applied the distort the way I want it, I then go up and click on the checkbox. Now that is only the first step. Once you do that you need to apply a filter. So you need to go to filter and then go to uh, blur and then click on Gaussian blur which is right here. Once you do that you need to set the radius to around three and a half. It works from anywhere from three to four and a half but anything above or below that it really does not work. Once you do that click on OK. Now we have a nice shadow back there, but the next thing that you want to do, and the last thing, is go up here to the opacity of that layer and drag that down just a little bit to give it that faded shadow effect as you see here. Now, once I have done that, I now have a nice shadow effect on my text. So as you see over here, I added a different shadow effect than I did here. And if you want to change the color of the font after you do it, that is fine too. Go over to the shadow copy, change the color of the shadow of the, the layer there, and then go to the original text layer and make sure you change that to the same shade or color or else it'll look a little weird. So guys, that is how you do a very quick shadow to your text, to your images, to your objects that will really impress your buddies as well as really make your projects pop. If you do have any questions on how to do this or anything in Photoshop, 
put it in the comment box below. I try my best to get around to all the questions that I get from my viewers. And I so appreciate all you guys viewing my videos. It means so much to me. And I will see you guys next time.